guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's vlog. I had a, a few messages saying that they enjoyed it, so that's good. First vlog is out of the way, feeling more confident. Um, I feel more ready to just pick up the camera and start vlogging my daily shit. So today we have legs. I'm going to take you along to the gym with me and we're going to train together. I'm going to get it done. So when it comes to leg training, I used to jump in straight away and do squats or RDLs or some massive compound movement. But what you want to do now is you want to really make sure that your muscles are warmed up for the big sets, for the hack squats, for the squats, any large movement like that. So what my coaches gave me now, um, and we basically done this from the start anyway when we were in the gym, is you do adductors first, hamstring curls after, and then leg extensions after that. And that's three um, isolation exercises which is just going to warm up the knee joints, warm up the leg muscles, and make sure you're fully prepared you go into the big sets. Now they weren't warm up sets, they are still sets to failure, but they just fucking make sure that you are ready to go in and give it your all. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go downstairs, get my intro shake ready, my pre-workout ready, and we'll go along to the gym. Fuck the F little baby We won't take Alan Robert to Katie Guy Jack And I still like to sort of full fat like Mike back Pull that tank out just like a banner He gon' need a body bag or a nice sack He a bitch, he a fold on the price Polo G Just get me to the gym I want to do legs And I'm not even, like I didn't start sipping on this until I know I'm going to be close to the gym Because there's nothing worse When you're drinking your pre-workout and then it starts to kick in and you're still sitting in traffic and that you just want to jump out your car and punch fuck out of someone <laughs> so I I'll make sure that I know I'm going to be to the gym when the pre-workout kicks in Fumes the engineer man Over the man them like Lilo and Stitch if you cash, that's Bobo. I got endless love, no homo. Gang don't stuff, ain't riding a Volvo. Put him in a shirt, ain't doing no promo. Full red. Drive your cargo, take control. Got me feeling like Marlo Tobo. First exercise I did today was seated adductor. So, obviously, you're sitting down, and the main goal here is to bring your knees in towards the center of the body and back out again. The reason we do this first is one, it's a really good warm up exercise for the adductors but two, if you try and do this later on in your session it's quite hard, especially after squats it's really hard to get your knees and adductors into that shortened range and that shortened position so if you do this at the start you can move a lot of weight plus you're going to be warming up your adductors and getting them set and ready for when you move on to your squats and your hack squats or your leg press second exercise today was a hamstring curl, so the prone hamstring curl, that's when you're lying down. So the focus here is to lie obviously on the machine, your knee is at the pivot point, you want to keep your legs as straight as possible and the goal here is to bring your heels up towards your bum and making sure you're driving your quads straight into that pad, keeping your core engaged and try and not let your hips rise. If your hips are rising as you're pulling the weight up towards your bum, then the weight's probably too heavy for you. The third exercise was leg extensions. So as you can see here, I actually got a hip thrust pad and put it underneath my knees and that's just going to elevate, especially on this machine, it's going to elevate my knees a little bit, which gives me more stretch at the bottom, which I prefer. Unfortunately, on this machine that I'm using, I don't think it's that great, so I need to try and manipulate that, ma manipulate the machine, find a way of using it which feels good for me. So that's what works for me. Again, you want to keep your legs as straight as possible, so knees in line with your hips, ankles in line with your knees, and you're just driving and squeezing the quads until you're at full extension.
exercise number four was the Smith Machine Squat. So I, I do quite a lot of warm up sets on this just to prepare myself and just to make sure that when I do my top set and my back off set that I'm actually hitting the correct weight in that failure range. Um, so when you are doing the Smith Machine Squat you want to keep your, your feet slightly narrower than maybe you do a barbell squat depending on how you squat anyway. And as you, because it's a Smith Machine it's a fixed movement. So all you need to focus on is as you have your feet just in shoulder width apart, you're going to focus on sitting down, so sinking into that hole in between your legs, keeping your chest up and driving your knees out to the side. If you don't drive your knees out, then what's going to happen is you might cause your lower back to round as you come down into that squat. Again, make sure you're, you're controlling every single rep and you're driving out of that hole and squeezing the quads as you're going up. Exercise 5 was the reverse band hack squat. So why the reverse band? So at the bottom of the hack squat, it can get quite heavy, it can be a lot of stress on the knee joint. So by putting a band there, as the weight's coming down, the, the, the band creates more tension, which takes the load that you have on the machine, it takes a little bit off that at the bottom. So it's not cheating in a way, but it's no cheating at all. It just makes it a little bit easier for you at the bottom range of that movement. So you can shift a little bit more weight when you use a band. Just make sure when you're using a reverse band or a band on the machine that you're not using fucking five green ones because that is going to take all the fucking load. I use a, a smaller purple one um, and I might even try and get that down to a, a fucking thin red one. But again, when you're doing your, your um, hack squats, it's similar to the Smith Machine squat, but you're actually in a machine this time. And then because you've got the, the plate to put your foot on, um, just play about with different positions for your feet and find what uh, works best for you.
exercise number five was unilateral high stance leg press. So this is trying to focus on the hamstrings. And what you want to do here is keep your foot high on the plate. You're going to bring your knee down um, about 90 degrees. And then what you're going to do is pause at the bottom for a second in that position. And you're not going to think about driving through your, your foot. You're actually going to think about pulling your hamstring down which is going to drive your foot up and this should create a good amount of tension in your hamstrings. I do struggle with this exercise because my quads are so dominant they sometimes take over so it does take a lot of focus to try and feel my hamstrings on it but if I can warm up enough um, and that focus is there then I do feel it in my hamstrings. Again, you might need to play about with different foot positions um, on the plate there but again, try that, see what works for you. After that we had the prone hamstring curl, so I did go back on the, the lying down hamstring curl but it was higher reps this time, um, I've explained how to do this exercise, it's the exact same as before, I was just doing it in higher reps. So the first time was 6 to 8 reps and the second set was 10 to 12 reps and then this time when I done it, it was 10 to 12 reps and then 12 to 15 reps. And then we finished the session off with four sets of calf raises. So it was two sets, eight to ten, one set, ten to twelve, and then one set, fifteen to twenty. So when you're doing your calf raises, again, you're standing in that machine, making your, um, your hip, your knee, and your ankles in a nice line there. You're not going to try and you want to squeeze your quads, you want to squeeze your glutes, and the main focus is just pressing through your toes and the ball of your foot up into that. Um, raised position, squeezing your calves at the top and then feel your calf stretch when you're at the bottom. Even hold it at the bottom for a second, really feel the calf stretch out and then again repeat that movement there, squeezing the calves at the top. I'm in my mum's car. I'm in my mum's car. Good session, that's me just outside the gym. Finished legs, no complaints once again. Um, just went in. See when I'm vlogging it's pretty good because it keeps me off my phone, keeps me going off Instagram and, and fannying about and although it can be quite annoying trying to video every set and, and get angles and all that shit and it does take a little bit of time to do that, I do stay pretty focused. I can just keep my headphones in um, and just film my sets. I did start off the session trying to talk you through it. Um, but unfortunately the music was too loud in the gym and I just felt like I'd, just in case when I went back to edit the vlog you couldn't actually hear me and I just wasted so much time. But I'm going to go home, I'm going to get my post-workout meal done and I've still got my steps to do. Still got about 5,000 steps to go and do so it is only 2 o'clock now um, so I can go home, chill out for a bit, have my meal, maybe watch something on YouTube and then go out and get my steps done. So my calories are slowly getting increased as uh, the weeks go on. As I said I'm, in yesterday's vlog, I'm two weeks out of a, a deload and a recomp, so the calories are, are creeping up. I'm on 3,645 calories on a training day, and on a non-training day, 3,230. So for the average person, the calories are still pretty high. But back in my last push phase, um, the highest I actually got with my calories was 5,360. And it was going in pretty well for a while, so I actually can't wait to get back up to that at some point. It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a fucking struggle um, on certain days, especially with being a bus driver now and working long hours. And But, like, bodybuilding's my life now. Obviously, I bus drive buses to earn my money, but outside of driving buses, it's fully bodybuilding, everything in my life is committed to that, so I'll get my meals in no matter what, 
I'll get my steps in no matter what, I'll do my cardio and just get all the boxes ticked. It's not as long as yesterday's. Hopefully you can take some information away from this one today, implement it into your own leg workout and let me know how you got on. So I, fam, let's leave it there. Any questions about your training or anything like that, um, I'm more than happy to help you out. And if you enjoyed the vlog, you enjoyed the video, um, please leave a wee like, subscribe if you haven't, and share it. That would be appreciated a lot. But until the next one guys, have a good one.